you must stay at home. Social distancing. You should not be meeting family members who do not live in your home. Closely more than two metres apart. We cannot relax our discipline now. It's not a good look, Mr Cummings, is it? If we do, people will die. Who cares about good luck? Well, it's a question of doing the right thing. This advice is not a request. It is an instruction. It's not about what you do. It's vital to slow the spread of the disease, and that's why you must stay at home. The Prime Minister has said his chief aide, Dominic Cummings, has acted reasonably, legally and with integrity when he decided to travel to Durham with his wife and son after his wife contracted COVID-19. Boris Johnson's support comes after a number of MPs from all parties have called for Cummings' resignation following allegations he made a number of trips while government his own lockdown measures were in place in April. This government asking you, uh, the people, the public, to do one thing, while senior people here in government do something else. Have we been asking you to make sacrifices to obey social distancing, uh, stay at home, while some people have been basically flouting those rules and endangering lives? And it's because I take this matter so seriously, and frankly, it is so serious, that I can tell you today I've had extensive face-to-face -face conversations with Dominic Cummings, and I've concluded that in travelling to find the right kind of childcare, at the moment when both he and his wife were about to be incapacitated by coronavirus, and when he had no alternative, I think he followed the instincts of every father and every parent, and I do not mark him down for that. And though there have been many other allegations about what happened when he was in self-isolation and thereafter, some of them palpably false, I believe that in every respect he has acted responsibly and legally and with integrity and with the overwhelming aim of stopping the spread of the virus and saving lives. Good evening to all. I am absolutely ashamed of our government and I don't know how to express it. We're supposed to, to be able to trust our government. Our government are pathetic liars and should be ashamed of themselves. Boris Johnson literally lied about Dominic Cummings. Piers Morgan has also said Boris Johnson's a disgrace. He also tweeted this poor boy's family stayed away from his deathbed and funeral because they obeyed the Gov T rules. Imagine how now the family is feeling now knowing that all they had to do was follow their instinct, not the rules. You're a disgrace, Boris Johnson. Part of that I agree with, but the bit about following the rules I don't quite so agree with. Our public deserve every apology and have a right to know why you are such a disgrace and had to let Dominic Cummins get away with it. Because I guarantee you, if that had been any of us, you or me, we would have been fined. I bet you. This is disgusting. I'm absolutely ashamed of our government. Liars. Our go of our government liars. I'm tired of their big, long, wooden noses clapping on the daily briefing microphone and the fat Boris Johnson willingly defended Dominic Cummings. Absolutely disgraceful. Disgusting liars. Seriously. I bet their wooden noses <laughs> would be clapping even louder on the microphone. I bet their wooden noses would be clapping even louder on the microphone tomorrow. I'm sick of it. I expect better from the UK. And the worst thing is, we can't do anything. We're stuck. We're expected to be able to trust the government. But they've truly let us down now. Social distancing. Yeah. Yeah. Move that way. Create a path Can you really defend you're supposed, to, you're supposed to be more than two metres apart. You're supposed, to, you're supposed to be more than two metres apart. Move out the way. Can you really defend your actions, Mr Cummings, during the lockdown? It's not a good look, Mr Cummings, is it? Why do you think it was reasonable to travel 260 miles, Mr Cummings, when you might have had coronavirus? I behave reasonably illegally. Hey, little kitty, you ready to go? It's not a good look, though, is it, Mr Cummings? Who cares about good looks? Well, it's a question of, do, of doing the right thing. It's not about what you guys think. You know what? I 
effectively our country are letting us down because Scotland's Scotland and Chief Medical Officer Kathleen Holderwood has let us down in Scotland. In England, Dominic Cummins has let us down by leaving his home with coronavirus symptoms. Our country is slowly letting us down. We need to stop this ASAP and take action or otherwise this could come out of hand. And Our government have a duty of dignity and respect and care to its citizenship of the UK and they have ruined our relationship with government.